In this video tutorial, SubVIs in LabVIEW will be explained. A SubVI is a subprogram within another program. Thus, by turning commonly used VIs into SubVIs, they become available for use whenever you need them. Consider the factorial VI shown here. We want to save this code as a SubVI to be used in other VIs. Now to save this code as a sub-VI, we need to select it and then we go to edit and here within edit we select create sub-VI. Notice the factorial code has been replaced by this sub-VI icon. The functions for control and indicator are not included in the sub-VI. Next, we need to save the sub-VI, so we double-click on the sub-VI icon. We get this sub-VI front panel. We choose File, Save As, and it takes us to the directory where my sub-VIs are stored. I select a name, let's say Factorial. Now the sub-VI has been saved. This is another code that sums the integers from one to number. Again, we want to convert this into a sub-VI. We select the code, edit, create sub-VI. Again, we save it into our sub-VI directory, file, save as. We'll give it a name, sum. Now, let's say we want to program that will either compute and display the factorial of an integer or compute and display the sum from 1 to the input integer. For this program we need to use the boolean case. Now within the true window we need to insert the factorial sub VI. To do that right click, we come here, select a VI. Our VI is factorial and we drop it within the true window. With the false window also we need to get the sums of VI. Now we need to connect the number function into the input of the sub VI and the output of the sub VI into the result function. Within the front panel we check the result of the code. So now the boolean switch is in the factorial position so factorial of 1 is 1 so if we change it to some value like 3 we get 6 and you can see that the code is working here now if we flip the switch to sum we can see that uh, the result is the sum from 1 to the input integer now we modify the VI to give the user a choice of three operations factorial sum or the square root of the input number. Now we have three selections and the case has to be modified to have three windows which are controlled by the enum function. So the first window has the factorial sub vi, the second window has the sum sub vi and in the third window we need to insert the square root function. Now running the code we check the results. Now the input number is 9 and the uh, the choice of operation is factorial and we get the result. Now if we change this into sum we get 45 and let's check square root and it gives me 3. This concludes this video tutorial.